Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast. Now this screencast is a res is a result of uh, one of the questions on Stack Overflow, which was about how to how you can make a UI table view sections non-floatable. Now what does that mean, non-floatable? If you have ever worked with UI table view, then you should have realized that if you have a section and it has a certain view that is being displayed, um, then even though you have hundreds of rows and when you scroll the rows, you will always see the section on the top. Sometimes it's a good idea to display a section and sometimes it's not. Like if your uh, the section header view, if that contains some sort of a filtration control, some sort of a sorting controls, most probably you don't really want to display those if the user has already scrolled down to uh, 20, 30 rows or somewhat, right? So let's go ahead and see, first of all, let's see the problem and then we can find a solution, all right? So here we go. So this is the code to just to create a section. I'm using the view for header in section. It's just going to create a header view and uh, let give it a background of red color. Uh, the height for the header in section will be 33 points so let's go ahead and run this and let's see here we go so we will see that it displays a ui table view which contains number of rows here we go so it has like 50 rows or something let's see and you can see that if i'm scrolling the UI table view over here in the simulator, the section on the top, it remains the same. It's not going anywhere, right? And as I said before, that in certain scenarios, uh, it would be okay thing. It will be fine, just fine, right? But in some scenarios, you want to hide this uh, or you want to scroll even the section with these rows. Let's say you have a sort or filter button over here some sort of other controls which doesn't really make sense to display all the time uh, then you do want to hide it you don't want to display it or you want to scroll it along with the other cells so that is what exactly what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is to comment out the header part because we won't be needing that um, then we're going to say number of sections in table view. So I'm going to say over here two sections, okay? And we will go over here and create a method which will return us a UI table view cell. We will say this will be create header cell. And let's just return nil over here, but you can return anything you want. So I'm just going to say UI table view cell uh, header cell uh, UI table view cell and then we are just going to use one of the initializers UI table view style we're just going to use a default and uh, reusable ID will be header cell in this case we only have one header so I'm just going to use that um, in, next we can also create a header view which we can inject into the header cell in it with frame header cell dot frame now this is not really necessary because you can use the header cell uh, as basically your base as your parent and then put some controls inside of that so you can always do that uh, I just like to do that because sometimes I would like to not hide the header cell but the hide the view or change the alpha properties of the view and things like that um, so I'm just going to add the sub view which is header view in this case and uh, just for fun let's change the the background color of uh, the header view to red color and in the end we are just going to return the header cell build this everything good now since we want our header cell or the section header to float with the rest of the cells we have to use the cell for row 
at index path method. And you can easily do that by checking which section are we talking about. So if the section, if the index path of section is equal to zero, then we can simply return a header cell or else we are going to create the other cell uh, which is some sort of prototype cell to display data and return that. Let's go ahead. One last thing that you need to do is number of rows in section. So right now it's going to be returning 50 rows for both the sections. You don't really need to do that. You don't really want to do that because in section number zero, you only have one uh, row, right? So that's why. Oh, I'm sorry, not over here. Let's see. Number of rows in section, number of section. Okay, so I think I'm doing it right. All right, so case is if it's a zero, what do, you, what do we want to do? We want to return one. Uh, case is one. We want to return 50 and then break because then let's say there are 50 rows. And then if there's a default, we can return 50 or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just gonna return one. Let's go ahead and run this. So now we have our uh, section header over here and you can see as I scroll, it just scrolls with it, with it okay? So now no, uh, it's not a floating header anymore. And in, once again, in certain scenarios, you, will, you might want to do that, right? If you are uh, grouping the data, it will, be, it will be much nicer if I'm seeing the header all the time, let's say it's sorted by alphabetical order or a phone directory, I'm looking over here with the alphabet A uh, and all these contexts are of alphabet A, then it makes sense, right? But in third, some scenarios, again, if you are displaying some sort of controls like sorting and filtering control, then you really don't want to show the section header uh, because, you know, because you are at the bottom of the screen and the middle of the screen. So hopefully you'll find this useful. Um, once again, it can be used in certain scenarios and so you, depending on the scenario, hopefully you'll find it useful. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you like this video and if you want to support the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube, I highly recommend that you uh, go ahead and do some donation and keep this channel running. Um, your donations are uh, greatly appreciated and you can send your donations to uh, azamsharp at gmail.com through PayPal. Um, thank you very much for watching this and uh, have a great day.